What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a complex fraction that has a bunch of big exponents in it, all right? So here we have five times two raised to the 33rd power minus two raised to the 32nd power all over four raised to the 16th. Okay, so there's a couple uh, suspicious, let's call them, things that stand out with this problem. So first of all, you can see two raised to the 33rd and two raised to the 32nd. That's really close together. Maybe something's going on right there. And the other thing that you might notice is that this exponent down here, 16, is exactly half of 32, okay? Maybe there's an easy way to kind of work those out. So why don't we try that first? Why don't we see if there's a way to turn both of our exponents up here into 32s because then it'll be half or exactly double basically of 16 so maybe that's going to help right now 2 raised to the 33rd power how can we turn that into 2 raised to the 32nd power well we basically just have to factor out a single 2 okay so 2 raised to the 33rd power that's the same thing as 2 raised to the first power times 2 raised to the 32nd power Okay, and the reason that works is because whenever you have two numbers that have the same base, so a 2 and a 2, whenever you have two different exponents, you just add those together. So 1 plus 32 is equal to 33, all right? But in any case, let's write 2 raised to the 33rd like this. So we're going to say 2 raised to the first power, which is basically just 2, right, times 2 raised to the 32nd power. So then here, let's rewrite what we have up here. So we have 5 times 2 to the first power, which again is just 2, times 2 raised to the 32nd power minus 2 raised to the 32nd power, all over 4 raised to the 16th. Okay, and just to keep my symbols consistent, let's just write that, okay, instead of dot. So 5 times 2 times 2 raised to the 32nd power minus 2 raised to the 32nd power all over 4 raised to the 16th. Okay, so one thing we can do right now is just combine like terms, right? So 5 times 2, that's equal to 10, right? So then we can simplify this a little bit to 10 times 2 raised to the 32nd minus 2 raised to the 32nd all over 4 raised to the 16th. Okay, so again, as you might notice, the 16 is half of 32, all right? So maybe there's a way that we can kind of use that to kind of cancel these out. So one thing that we can do now is, why don't we split this up into two separate fractions, all right? Just so we can work with them a little bit more easily. So this, I'm gonna split up into one fraction, right? So we're gonna write it as 10 times two raised to the 32nd over four to the 16th, and then we're subtracting, right? So we're gonna say minus, and then we're gonna have this fraction right here. Okay, so minus what we have up here, which is two raised to the 32nd, all over four to the 16th. Four to the 16th. All right, and I'm gonna scroll down just to have a little extra room down here. Okay, so four to the 16th. Is there a way that we can rewrite this somehow to match up with this two raised to the 32nd. Okay, so we either wanna match the bases, so two and four, maybe we can match those up somehow, or we wanna match up the exponents, all right, 32 and 16. In this case, let's match up the bases, okay? And the way that we can do that is four, right? Four, that's the same thing as two squared, all right? So I'm gonna rewrite four as two squared, and why do I wanna do that? Well, because now I have the same base, right? I have a two here for my base now, and it's gonna match this two up here for the base. All right, so let's rewrite this. So now we have 10 times two raised to the 32nd power over, and again, four, I'm gonna rewrite as two squared, right? Two squared, but it's still raised to the 16th power over here, okay? This whole thing, this thing right here, still raised to the 16th power. Okay, and let's do it on this fraction as well. So we're gonna say minus this fraction over here. So it's the same thing, right? Because we have the exact same numbers. So we're gonna have two raised to the 32nd power over, and then four sixteenths. Again, we're gonna rewrite that as two squared raised to the 16th power. 
Okay, now how do you simplify a power raised to another power? Well, you just multiply them together. So what's 2 times 16? That's equal to 32. So down here, 2 squared raised to the 16th is really 2 raised to the 32nd power. Okay, so let's simplify this. So on top again, we have 10 times 2 raised to the 32nd power over 2 raised to the 32nd power. Okay, and now let's do that to this fraction as well, right? So we're going to say minus. On top, we have, again, 2 raised to the 32nd. And on the bottom, again, uh, to simplify a power raised to another power, you just multiply those together, right? So 2 times 16 is 32. So here we have 2 raised to the 32nd power, right? 2 raised to the 32nd power. Okay, cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we can, you know, we can cancel some stuff out. So as you can see, we have the same term on top as we do on the bottom in this fraction, right? We have 2 raised to the 32nd on top and on the bottom. So those cancel out, all right? And it's the same thing on this side over here. Any number divided by itself is equal to 1, right? So 5 divided by 5, that's equal to 1. 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. So 2 raised to the 32nd divided by 2 raised to the 32nd is equal to 1, all right? So let's get to the final answer, the grand finale. On the left side over here, again, these canceled out. So we're just left with 10. So we're going to say 10 minus, and then again, this just goes down to 1, right? So then we finally get 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Boom, son or daughter. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.